we're gonna be working on the tune Waltzing Matilda, which is a fun Australian folk song with lyrics that have a lot of fun words in them, like swagman, billabong, kulaba. <laughs> Don't ask me what any of them mean, but if you wanna check out the song or have a listen to it, um, take a look at those lyrics. I think you'll enjoy it. Who has gotten a chance to listen to the song? Anyone? Couple people? Okay, good. And has anybody gotten a chance to look at the music? The sheet music? Yeah? Okay. And I went ahead and hopefully you can see it. I posted it before we got started, but I posted a link to the Google Drive folder that has all of the sheet music for all the jam workshops, including this one, and it has chord charts in there as well. So feel free to take a look at that. Can everybody see that? So for this tune, we're in the key of G major. So let's go ahead and kick things off with a G major scale and we'll just do one octave and we'll do half notes. So starting on our low open G, here we go. One, two, three, four. We're gonna start with just the melody of this tune. It's a fairly simple melody, nothing crazy going on. We're gonna add some fun things to it later, but I'm just gonna go ahead and walk us through phrase by phrase, just playing a little chunk at a time, and just do your best once I'm playing to play it as best you can. We'll go through it a few times, and as always, like I said, feel free to ask any questions or stop me or slow me down or whatever we need to do. And we'll play it a few times at the end as well once we've gone through the whole melody. All right, are we ready? Let's get into this first phrase. It goes like this. So let's talk about some fun things that we can add into this tune. Some style elements, really, that we have going on. And really we have two main style elements that we can incorporate into this tune. One being a swing rhythm, which basically just means that we have swung eighth notes, and I'll talk more about that in a second if I'm losing you there. And then the other thing is double stops, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. So those are the two things that we're gonna be focusing on today. So the first thing, talking about this, this idea of swing rhythm or swung eighth notes, basically just means that instead of playing the eighth notes in a very rhythmically straight way, like we just did with the melody, right, instead we're going to swing the eighth notes, which changes it to more of a long, short, long, short rhythm, which sounds like this. Okay, so why don't we just try that on open A. Don't worry about playing the notes of the tune right now. We'll get into that in just a minute, but let's just go ahead and try that long, short, long, short rhythm on open A together. Here we go. Good, yeah. Nice job, everyone. So let's take it all the way back to the beginning so that we can try putting all of this together. We've got our swung eighth note rhythm. And then we also have our double stops now, which mostly consists of the drones, except for if you're playing the, the G chord there on, uh, on that high G. So let's take it back to the beginning. Let's try this together. One, two, ready, go. session though you'd probably want to know the chords just because it's likely you're not going to be playing melody the whole time maybe some of the time if you're if you're given little solos and breaks here and there but it is good to know at least some of the chords just so that you have an idea and a handle on um, how all of that is going so that you can back up other people so let's talk about that and if you don't already have it in front of you um, I list out all of the chords on the sheet music of this tune if you want to go ahead and pull that up if it's easier for you, unless you want to just try to rapid fire remember all of these chords I'm about to rattle off here. 
Um, and then also, if you're not super familiar with just playing chords in general, I also have a couple of helpful sheets in there just with basic chords for the violin and what they look like and on as far as sheet music goes, how to play them and all of that so that if you're a little bit lost as we go through these in a second here, you'll at least know uh, how it all works within the fiddle. So our first tune, our first chord that we have in this tune is G. So we're just gonna play open G and D together. Let's go ahead and try that. It's a pretty simple one. And for the most part, we have two chords to a measure. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, we do have two chords to a measure, which means that we're gonna be holding each chord for about two beats. So in this case, we're just thinking of this G chord as a half note. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to a D chord, which we have A and open D together. You wanna give that a try. Good, yeah, nice job. And now we're just gonna do the whole thing one more time and then we'll be done, I promise. But we're just gonna take it back to the beginning. And this time, if you wanna play the chords, continue to play the chords. If you want to play the melody this time, feel free to play the melody. And if you choose to keep playing the chords, I challenge you to try a new rhythm instead of just having the sustained notes the whole time. See if you can add a little bit of a rhythm to it. Okay, so get creative with it. And let's go ahead and get into this tune. Either melody or chords, you pick. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 